unfiltered, uncensored, and unapologetic. This is the Retail War Zone Podcast. What's up, everybody? Welcome to our very first episode of the Retail War Zone One on One. I'm extremely excited to start this series. It's all about having people come on and tell their stories individually, totally 100% anonymous. If it's something that you feel like you want to do, if you have a story to share, you can contact us on Twitter at Generation Void. My DMs are always open. Uh, Having said that, I cannot think of a better guest to have for our inaugural episode. In case you've been living under a rock, if you frequent Twitter, or you frequent Reddit, you had to have seen the viral text of the individual who was texted on their day off about their performance the prior day and how that conversation culminated with this individual quitting their job on the spot. So having said that, I am very proud and honored to have Reddit user He Stole My Smile on the show today so go ahead and introduce yourself well hi steve i appreciate you having me on uh the reddit response has been beyond overwhelming i'm so happy to see so many people standing up for themselves and and willing to take charge of their lives again absolutely it's it's been an incredible experience and uh i just i can't get over how great the the reddit and andy work communities are they're they're just full of wonderful people. I agree. And and as of today, I checked it before, you know, we did this, you were sitting at 242,000 upvotes, I believe, uh, 12.4 thousand comments made the front page. And that's impressive, man. And, and I think that you kind of started something because now we're seeing other people kind of do the same, which is cool. And, you know, that that's something to, you know, kind of plant your flag in and, you know, you'll carry that with you for the rest of your days. Having said that, obviously, there's a little bit of backstory that got you to that point. So kind of tell us a little bit about, you know, where you were, how you got there and how this wound up the way it did. Well, Steve, you know, uh, I used to have. A higher level job. I was a I was a VPO of a restaurant group, and I ended up crushing a couple bones in my foot. And from then on, I I, I mean I couldn't walk. I uh, it was the two sesamoid bones are the ones that act as the fulcrum for your big toe. So I mean every step was just those little pieces fragments of bone tearing into my feet. I eventually got let go from my job, my my big boy job, and we ended up losing our house, having to move across country. Uh, confronted some childhood abuse, uh, just kind of settled myself on the bottom for a little while. And uh, I reached out to Reddit for help just to know I wasn't crazy. And, and man, the response for that was, was overwhelming. That was almost two years ago. Since then, we have worked on bettering ourselves. And, uh, you know, I went into therapy. I jumped from a couple temp jobs here and there. I found this one. Uh, after the pandemic kind of, I guess, calmed down for, for lack of a better word. But uh, when things started opening again, I, you know, I wanted to work somewhere that I had a little contact with people. And I thought Warehouse would be great because it's just, <laughs> you, you know, you don't, you don't really interact with anyone. It's right. It's 10 or 12 hours a day and you're at your station or you're pulling a cart around and put your headphones on and, and you zone out and just do a menial job. And you know, the pay wasn't awful. Cost of living here is kind of high, but we have very reduced expenses. So it's it was all right. It was all right. But uh, working there sucked, if I'm going to be honest. You're very micromanaged in that kind of environment. They come and speak to you often about your rate, whether you're doing well or not. You know, if you're if you're doing well, they're like, hey, you're, you know, you're you're within the defined parameter, so good job, but you know, don't fall below those or we're going to have to come mess with you some more. The, the brakes, the brakes are just ridiculous. We have like this, you have like this siren that comes on and, you know, lets you know, Hey, it's break time, but you can't leave your station until the siren comes on and you have to be back to your station before the siren sounds again. So, I mean, you're talking, 
you're talking about this giant ass warehouse. I mean, these things are huge. And if you're working at the back of it and you're trying to go to the break room, it takes at least a good four, four and a half minutes to walk to the front, four, four and a half minutes to walk to the back. So you got, you know, five, six minutes of your 15 minute break that's actually usable. You know, if, if you want to grab a snack and go to the bathroom, you got to decide which one's more important. Wow. So, so were you working 12 hour shifts? Yeah, I did 12s. I did occasional 10s as a uh, mandatory overtimes. What kind of break schedule did you have? Uh, three 15s on a, uh, on a 12 hour day, two 15s on a 10 hour day with a half an hour unpaid, unpaid lunch. Wow. Either. That's terrible. It's, it's, a long, it's, it's a long day to be in a warehouse. And that, uh, if you don't wear gloves, it tears your hands up. Um, the air, the air in a warehouse is so incredibly dry. Yeah. I mean, so dry. It's like the, the cardboard just sucks the humidity out of the air. So, I mean, you, you feel like you work in a desert all day. I know you referenced uh, UPH, so I'm assuming that's units per hour. That is, that is. Um, and it's, it's not an actual, it's not an actual package per hour. That's an item in a package per hour. But, you know, judging by your post, your numbers were pretty damn good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. Right. I'm going to do it well. So this supervisor that reached out to you, was this a, per a person who had always been kind of overbearing and kind of a problem? Or is this just something that was, you know, changed kind of recently? I mean, you know, we, we'd have like these little morning get togethers where they give us the news or let us know how many back orders they had in the log for the day. And he was just the one that always reiterated, hey, you need to make sure you're at your station until the bell rings and back before it rings again. You know, just the micromanaging, just just that kind of attitude. Right. Which is just the, that which is just that kind of industry. Yeah. I mean, you're not you're not a person, you're a number. You're only worth what your numbers are, which and apparently you're not even worth that. Yeah, apparently not judging by, you know, the the text message because you obviously did quite well and and I think one of the things that you said in there that was most important to me was the fact that you hit those remarkable numbers but it wasn't good enough because you weren't uncomfortable while you were doing it. And that says a lot. Man, that that shit irritated me so much. I, I was I was at home and you know, I'd made dinner, we were sitting down to eat. I get that garbage on my phone. I was, and I, I talked to my wife about it for just, just a minute. She was like, you know, there are jobs everywhere. We got some money saved. This isn't that big a deal. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Let's just sever these ties and we will, we will find something better. Well, I know that, that the, the, the supervisor, you know, kind of insinuated that, you know, you were being disrespectful and I find it highly disrespectful that, you know, if, they had an issue with you. Why couldn't they wait to talk to you till you went back to work? Why well, they got to bother you on your day off? You know, that's your time. It's not yeah. theirs. No, no. And, and that's, that's an increasingly bad problem with, with everyone. I mean, we all have cell phones now, mm -hmm. you know, and you got to have a, you got, you have to leave a number for work. You know, they, they might legitimately need a need to get a hold of you for some reason. And, uh, and you know, I've, I've, had bosses in the past call me and help ask for help covering. And, you know, back when, when I was a boss, I would do the same thing, you know, but you know, if the answer is no, then it's no, it's that right. simple. It's not anything to make anyone feel bad about. Well, I find and, it extremely unprofessional that, all right, let's say, you know, if you've got an issue with an employee, I mean, that's, that's a face to face thing. That's not, yeah. you know, text somebody. And, and I think, you know, as you said, with it being an increasing problem, I think we have a lot of managers and supervisors out there that hide behind text messages because there's no emotion to them that you, you don't know, you know, would this person actually say this to your face, you know, versus hiding behind a telephone, you know, so to speak. And, you know, I was always taught that, you know, texting was not an official means of communication. But like you said, everybody's got phones now. And, you know, some people, I think, kind of overreach a little bit with how they use that because there's a time and place for everything. And any kind of disciplinary or, you know, any kind of conversation you want to have regarding somebody's performance or the job they're doing, you know, or, or whatnot, that can wait. 
you know, don't bother somebody on their day off, you know, and because they did that and how they approached it, now they've got to replace you. Yeah, exactly. I mean, corrective, corrective action should be on company time. Yep. Period. Absolutely. That's, that's, it's, it's unacceptable to, to contact someone at home on their time to gripe at them about something they did at work. Yes. You know, 100%. You know, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get paid for that conversation. Nope. <laughs> and, and, you know, and just think about, you know, the, the thousands of people that get text messages like that, that, you know, didn't do what you did. I mean, think about the fact that let's say you're an employee and you get that text early in the morning, you know, on your day off. And all of a sudden you, you have this sense of dread, you know, that ruins your entire day because you've got to go back the next day and face whatever garbage they're want to talk about, you know, and that, that's yeah, exactly. unfair. You know, so yeah, it's, it's, yeah, you shouldn't get, we need to talk text from your boss. That's, no. uh, that's reserved for relationships. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, the outpouring has been, has been amazing. I mean, I cannot imagine how many messages and how many, you know, emails, all the communication that you must have gotten just completely bombarded. <laughs> Oh man, my, my inbox is just so full. Uh, I've been, I've been sorting my way through the DMS. That's there. That's just a little bit more manageable. I mean, you know, 12,000 comments is just too, that's just too much. Yeah. But, uh, you know, a, a thousand or so DMS, I can, I can work on that. I can work on that. So I'm trying to, you know, answer 20, 30 a day just to thank people for their support, read their stories. That's, that's really the best part. And what's really been awesome has been, been so many redditors have reached out to me to offer me jobs wow i mean like like all over the damn country too then no nobody in our area of course but it's uh it's it's nice to know that there are people that get it and that are still trying to hire people that's great whoever whoever's offering me, me that job knows where i stand you know they understand my point of view and they're still saying, "Hey, you know what? You should come to work. You should come to work for me, because I don't act that way." There's an employer like that for anyone that needs it. They can find it. You might have to jump some jobs. You might have to look around, but they are good people to work for because they don't. You don't work for them. You work with them. Now, would you say that uh, that like the overall? response that you got was positive i mean i'm sure you got you got some like people trying to be dicks or whatnot about it but do you got did you get uh, much hate for it a little bit uh, i wouldn't even say a, a full one percent i mean there's there's been a handful of dms that were wishing me very ill and <laughs> wow I, I mean it you know there's just, it's just whatever i i i wouldn't take advice from those people so i'm not going to take any criticism either got you well, I do want to give, you know, while we're on here, I got to give Irish Connection a huge shout out. You know, he was the one I was sitting at work and I get this message, you know, via Twitter saying, hey, there's this thing. And, and would you like to talk to this person? And, and you know, he did the legwork thing, you know, to get a hold of you. And, you know, once again, I want to say how much I appreciate you taking your time to do this. You know, I, I it's it's always cool to hear people's stories. It's kind of like you said offline, the amount of people who've reached out to you telling you their stories. You know, that, that's an amazing thing. Oh man. Every time I read a story that somebody's, you know, somebody has directly messaged me saying, Hey, I, that resonated with me and I'm not going to be treated this way anymore. I'm, I'm actively going to find myself new employment and I am going to be gone from this place in a week. I am leaving. I am leaving. Thank you. And I can't, I can't say how good that makes me feel. I, well, I, I just can't. It, it it does. I mean, you know, I, I've gotten like, you know, a few brief messages, you know, here or there, you know, you know, thank you for what you guys are doing. It, it means, you know, that kind of stuff means a whole lot more than, you know, the notoriety that goes with, you know, the situation that you're in is, you know, you on the surface, you know, it's a viral thing, but underneath you're helping people, you know, and, uh, you know, like we said, it, it's, it's, therapeutic in a way it is it is it uh it just it feels good 
I mean, that's I feel like I'm living through other people too as they leave their crap jobs and move on to better opportunities. And and I couldn't be more proud of. Them. Yeah, I mean, it's, and and it's also it's it's cool knowing that you have become you know an agent for change. Uh, I just I hope it keeps rolling. And, me too. You know, the more people that that realize that they have more value. And there are employers out there that will treat you decently. The more that happens, then the more those employers will have to spring up. Exactly. The bad employers will will have to up their game or they won't have anybody to man their stores. They won't have anybody to talk down to because everyone else will be at better jobs. Exactly. And that's a, that's a great message. All right, my friend, you know, I don't want to take up too much time, uh, you know, in your day. I know you got things to do. The one thing I would like to ask you though is if there is one core message from all of this that everybody who's seen the text message and whatnot, what would you like people to take away from this? Guys, know your value. Just don't don't be treated like you're less than human. We we are all better than that. We don't deserve this kind of treatment. We don't deserve to be talked down to we talk like we're talk to like we're toddlers. We're you're a grown adult. You're working for a wage. You're not working for your life. You work to live. You don't live to work. Fantastic, fantastic. I, I sure as hell couldn't have found a better way to end it off. So once again, he stole my smile. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your time. Hey, thanks for having me on, Steve. You're you're good people, and so are you. You keep you keep doing what you're doing and good luck to you in your future endeavors and we'll keep in touch and make sure that you're doing okay well i'll be look, looking forward to reading more articles from you steve we 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 out here doing the work we trying so having said <laughs> that everybody oh uh, you know like i said this is the first one uh, i think this was a great way to start you know thank you for watching if you have not you know, subscribe to the channel, go ahead and do that. Hit the notification bell. So you'll know when we have more of these things go up. Other than that, keep your eyes wide open because there's more to come. Thanks everybody.